Hey everyone, this is just a quick video about my exo slide and linear rail conversion done to an Ender 5. Uh, I combined Teaching Tech's exo slide video and Kersey Fabrications linear rail uh, modification, and there's actually a remix up on his channel of, or on his Thingiverse um, account for that uh, uh, linear rail remix. And I like it better because it actually has the linear rails to the side, so they don't interfere with the belt path. As you can see here, the thickness of the block, the 3D printed block uh, that converts our linear rail to the side rather than on the top here, keeps the belt from rubbing here at the back so we don't have to have a loss of any of our travel uh, and if we look here it actually hits the end stop long before we hit the end of the bearing block and the rail here so we don't lose any of our bearings and then at the front we're also hitting with the light bar up there on the hot end so we can't come off on the front either and then on the inside here we have our exoslide carriage and we just mounted the plate from Exoslide for the belt right there. And then we used the piece for the hot end and then just a longer screw right here. And that way we still have enough room for our belt to be attached on both sides. And there's actually a little bit of a gap right there that allows the belt clip to travel in and out. So you can actually take the belt off and loose the hot carriage without having to take everything apart. Uh, but yeah, very, very solid. There's almost no travel in this head whatsoever. Pretty much all of the rocking and travel that was noted in Teaching Tech's video when you do the complete exoslide system is pretty much gone here. And you can see that I'm putting pretty good amount of force. I mean, I'm white knuckling this thing, trying to get it to move side to side. And we have pretty much no travel there. I mean, there might be 0.2 millimeters of travel, but you're having to exert so much force to get that that the 3D printer itself will never exert that amount of force just through normal operation. But yeah, very, very good videos from both Teaching Tech and Kersey Fabrications on getting this set up. Absolutely fantastic results. Um, so far, everything I have printed has turned out just beautiful. I'll grab a print for you so you can see kind of what I'm talking about here. A little bit of stringing on that part, but other than that, I mean, it's perfect. Absolutely. Dimensionally perfect and nice and quiet almost perfectly silent uh, with the 2208 um, TCM drivers on here and the SKR 1.3 version 1.3 uh, we also changed out to the color screen which is a nice addition here let me open this we don't have so much glare but very nice color screen sorry about the angle I have to hit there to get it to where you can see that and you might also notice that we remoted the jumper the 24 volt 5 volt jumper uh, which is some simple wires and we converted out our side plate there so that we can get to everything as far as the USB our SD and we can also change that jumper and then as you can see on my cabinet I put some nice lights in there but yeah that's our exo slide and linear rails conversion thanks for watching